there is an increasing uh, body of evidence suggesting that DNA is actually very dynamic and is capable to interact with the environment. This capability is in part due uh, to the epigenome, which consists in all the uh, chromatin changes, um, most, most likely driven by eastern acetylation and DNA methylations. While in the past it has been shown that a random accumulation of mutation in the genome play a role in the aging phenotype, I'm going to talk about another type of mutation, which are the one that affect the epigenome, which we believe they play as well a, a very important role in the aging. Uh, the most common the, um, epigenetic modification is actually DNA methylation, which consists in the addition of a um, methyl group at the 5 prime hand of cytosines in CGD nucleotide. It has been shown that uh, promoter region, why, when hypermethylated, are linked to gene expression, while when um, hypermethylated, has, uh, methylation has been linked to gene silencing. This is in part due to the fact that methyl groups prevent the binding of transcription factors to promoter regions. Uh, the accumulation of DNA methylation changes during lifetime is affected by the environment, by the diet, and by errors in DNA methylation maintenance. This accumulation can be either systematic or stochastic. When in systematics, we, we have the majority of the cells undergoing similar change, thus generating an homogeneous gene expression profile. When the cells undergo to different changes, and those changes differ from cell to cells, we can talk about stochasticity, and that leads to a transcription of noise. Uh, the potential effect of the accumulation of DNA methylation changes are disease. For example, in the, in the case of cancer, it has been shown that hypermethylation and promoter regions of tumor suppressor, tumor suppressor genes has been linked to cancer development, while a global hypermethylation influenced the a, a, a generalized a genomic instability. Also, we can talk about adaptation. For example, um, DNA methylation play, plays a key role during embryogenesis, and we can speculate that DNA methylation is really essential during our lifetime to allow us to adapt to an environment constantly changing. And finally, the function of the client, which is uh, tightly linked to the aging phenotype. There is a group of genes uh, which is uh, extremely um, uh, epigenetically regulated. Those are the printed genes which are monolithically expressed in a parent of origin minor due to epigenetic mechanism. So while for ordinary genes we have both copies from father, one from father, other for the mother represented, in the case of the printed genes, um, only one is represented. So the gene can be either paternally or maternally expressed. Uh, this leads to two main considerations, which is that imprinting carries an inherent genetic risk and that imprinted genes believe as they, they were employed. So we wanted to um, try to answer three questions, whether DNA methylation is dynamically regulated during aging, whether imprinted genes are subjected to genomic instability during aging, and if DNA methylation changes are stochastic. We first started to look at the promoter region of organ-specific imprinted genes in liver and brain, from young and old mice, and then we look also at three genes known to be subjected to methylation changes during aging in human brain. Um, basically, to look at methylation changes, uh, we treat the DNA with bisulfite, which converts unmethylated cytosine into uracils, while methylated cytosine remain unchanged. The next step is um, a PCR on target regions, which is followed by an AP type or master ray approach. Um, to summarize the approach, basically we have unmethylated and methylated DNA. We have the bisulfite step 
uh, followed that by PCR cleanup. Next step is an in vitro RNA transcription on the reverse trend, which is followed by an RNA cleavage um, that would generate fragments uh, which are going to differ only from mass and that depends on the regulation status. Um, the fragment mass, mass can be done determined uh, by Malditov. And as a result, we will have something like this, which is called epigram. Basically, each dot represents each cytosine uh, in CG denucleotide studied. We look, in this case, at the promoted region of the gene MKRN3. And the color can go from yellow to blue, depending on the methylation status. So if it's, the cytosine is totally unmethylated, we will have a yellow dot, and uh, it shifts over the blue when the methylation increases. Um, so first, we, we look at the, the DNA methylation patterns in the green and the imprinted genes. And uh, each, each dot here, uh, correspond to each, each animal studies and each mark uh, represents each cytosine studied in the promoted regions. I want to um, emphasize how, uh, how remarkable is the fact that the methylation patterns are extremely conserved between young and old. Uh, in almost all of the genes we look at, except for the gene UBE3E, where we can see uh, hypermethylation during aging at particular um, CG sites. Uh, when we look at other genes, the not imprinted one, uh, again in the brain, it's, uh, it's again um, very clear that the methylation patterns are extremely stable during aging. And finally, we look at the, the, the imprinted genes um, liver specific, and again, it's very, very remarkable how these patterns are very conserved during aging. There are very, very small changes. This um, leads to, to my conclusion that the DNA methylation patterns at the printed low side are generally stable during aging, and the UBE3A is the only gene that shows signs of epigenetic instability, and the promoter region of this gene is hypermethylated due to aging in the brain. Uh, this gene belongs to the family of the ubiquitin ligases. Um, the future direction, now since we look at, at the systematic uh, changes, we want to shift to the stochastic one. And I'm currently working on a method to uh, analyze epigenetic changes at single cell level, which means um, working at a, with very, very small material, and it is very challenging. And uh, basically, uh, the answer we want to get working with single cells is whether uh, the transcriptional instability that we, we see um, during aging is in part due to the loss of the normal epigenetic patterns. Um, and I want to thank my mentor Jan Beach, who is really an amazing uh, scientist to work with, the other me member of the lab, our collaborator John Greeley, and this project is sponsored by Science Foundation and National Institute of Aging. And thanks for the attention.